Hey everybody, this is Nick with Frost CNC, and today I'm going to show off how to turn a finished end on an inset cabinet into a face frame with inset door inside of it. So this is a nice look to do on inset cabinetry, and with this tip and mosaic, you'll be able to do it too. So let's do it. All right, so I've got an inset cabinet here in the room. We'll take a look at it. So pretty standard cabinet. And you can see I've got uh, my construction method set up to have uh, an applied door here as a finished end mitered into the frame. And the look I've got set up here has the uh, matching top rail here and my end panel also to include my toe height and bottom rail so that it lines up here. Uh, pretty nice look. However, this job is going to require that this is actually an inset door inside of this uh, uh, frame here on, on the finished end. And so I'm going to show you how to do that. Close this up. And if I go over to settings, my end panel looks the way it does. Because in end back panels, uh, that's what I've chosen. I've made a door here uh, in my door library. That has those sizes, uh, five and a quarter in this case, bottom rail, inch and a quarter top rail. And so that's why uh, it looked the way it did prior. And so what we're going to do is make uh, a door in the library that actually has that inset door in it, uh, essentially a door within a door. So let's go make that. We'll go to libraries and doors. I'm going to go find that base panel right there. And we'll double click to edit. And I'm going to make a copy. And I'm going to call this one inset base end panel. There we go. And so here's the trick. I'm going to go ahead and set this middle panel instead of flat. I'm going to set it to none. And it's going to wipe away everything in the middle. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a horizontal split. And I'm going to go ahead and click in this dead space up here. And I'm going to set that to the reveal that I want between my inset door and that frame. I'm going to go ahead and set that to an eighth. And then I'm going to set this width here to zero. Essentially wiping that part away. And so what it did is it essentially added a reveal area here. So once I start creating this door within a door, uh, you're going to see the correct gap. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing at the bottom. Go ahead and set that to an eighth. Set that center rail there to zero. All right. Now I'm going to click back on the opening to a vertical. Go ahead and set this to the inset reveal I want. And there you go. There's my first style on my door within a door. Go ahead and click on that. Change this gap over to an eighth. There we go. Click on the middle again, go horizontal with a rail. And I'm going to set this gap up here to zero, and it's going to bring this up right flush with the top of my uh, styles for the door within a door. Go to height here, go to zero. Same thing. Height here to zero. Now on the center panel, instead of none, I'm going to go ahead and flip back to flat. And there we go, my door within a door. Go ahead and press OK. And I'm going to go ahead and choose that now for the end panel for the job. And there it is, inset base end panel. Press OK. Let's go take a look. Boom. Door within a door. You can even see the correct gaps. And there's the look. You could do this for wall cabinet, tall cabinet. And so that solves um, a lot of design issues that people might have of getting that inset door uh, to look right on that end. And as a kicker, those parts are also on the cut list. So if we go take a look here, we'll actually see under maple board, there they are. 
They're called center style and center rail because it's kind of a, a trick here with door within a door. Uh, but those are the right size. And if I go look at that center panel, there it is right there. Also the correct size. So pretty cool little tip and trick. We'll see you on the next video.